Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is how to calculate separation for steering force. So, here we have a mass, and it has a current trajectory, meaning it's moving with a velocity vector in this direction, but we want the mass to end up at this target destination. Whether we want this mass to collide with some other object, or we just want it to pass through this point in space, we will need to introduce a steering force which I'll just denote as f vector, such that this becomes the desired trajectory. What will happen, of course, is the acceleration due to the force will cause the mass to change its position and velocity such that it meets and impinges upon this target. So this separation will naturally change in time. As we apply the steering force, the mass will get closer and closer to this target. So what is this separation distance? Well, if we begin with knowing the steering force and the mass doesn't change, we have the mass times the acceleration. So the acceleration then is simply the steering force divided by the mass and we can integrate the acceleration then twice with respect to time to calculate that separation distance. So let's integrate to find the velocity. So we integrate the acceleration, which is f over m with respect to time, and we get f over m times t plus the integration constant, which is interpreted as the initial velocity of the object. And then we do this one more time. We integrate the velocity expression we just found with respect to time to calculate the position vector, the trajectory. So we're going to have f t over m plus v naught and we integrate that with respect to time. And because there is a linear t term here, we get 1 half t squared times f over m plus v naught times t plus an integration constant, which again, like with respect to velocity, is interpreted as the initial condition here, the initial position. <coughs> so we end up with an expression for the distance, which is s minus s naught is equal to, here I just brought the initial position over to the left hand side, is equal to the initial velocity times time plus f over 2m t squared. So you can view this as the separation at any point in time between the object, the mass, and the target destination. So you can update this equation in time, provided you know the steering force. This is an expression from kinematics for the distance, this separation distance that we're interested in. My name is Walter Unglob. And this is how to calculate separation for steering force.